Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheeds. I am going to be doing a follow-up to my previous video about skin functional. I have been using, if I can find it, I have been using their um, antioxidant complexion firmer for just over a week now. And ideally I like to wait about two weeks before, you know, actually um, talking about something and seeing how it works because I think you need about two weeks at least to see a proper change in your skin but I thought let me do a follow-up and how it's been going and how I like the product so far so this product has got the absorbic acid which is your vitamin C and your ferulic acid which is another antioxidant my skin feels so tight and I'm just gonna be using it in a routine and talking about it and talk about vitamin C in general why you need to incorporate vitamin C into your skincare routine as that is my ultimate ingredient I think I've mentioned that so many times in fact no I know so I've actually been thinking one of like my goals is to maybe come out with like a super like a serum right like just like a crazy product it's just like a capsule product something that I swear by a holy grail and I've been thinking like if I was to choose like the ultimate product to come out with what would it be and I think it would be a vitamin C serum I think so but it has to be like the ultimate one like it's not playing games it is just it's doing the things and beating all of them sidetracked so yeah so we'll talk about this and the ghetto If it's your first time here, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any posts. Okay, so I already cleansed my face with um, a cleanser. I don't know why I said that. So I'm just gonna continue with the routine. I finally got, ooh, guys, I'm back, eh? Life is starting to get a little bit normal. So I'm back, my friend got me a new beauty water because I was, it had been some, it had been moments, and my skin was starting to do things, and I think it's because I was missing, like, my favorite product. Thank you, Maria, because I didn't know what to do. Anyway, so I'm just going to go over this and just kind of renew my face and prep it for the next um, product. So, on the cotton swab. So, if you guys have been using Skin Functional, how's it been going for you? Which products are you loving? Which ones aren't you too crazy about let me know in the comments down below oh my my face was dirty guys this is why i need this beauty water because sometimes these normal like cleansers just don't do everything that they need to do and like they say that that they say they do so i mean oh, i'm so happy guys if happiness was in a bottle it's it's right here this is literally my favorite thing in life Okay, normally my second step will probably be um, a chemical exfoliator, an AHA or a BHA, but because we are using vitamin C um, every day right now and that's what I'm focusing on, I have not been using AHAs and BHAs. Guys, when you are using a vitamin C product, something that is uh, full of vitamin C, you cannot be using your chemical exfoliators because your skin is gonna just become super sensitive, especially to the sun, and could easily just turn into like irritation and get more acne and burns and stuff. So make sure you're not using your, your glycolic acid, your salicylic acid, all that stuff when you're using vitamin C. So I'm gonna go straight into the vitamin C. Like I said, it's their anti, what is it? antioxidant complexion firmer, 10% absorbic acid and 3% ferulic acid. Absorbic acid is a derivative of vitamin C. It's the most potent type and most popular one, the one that you'll see in most products. However, it is also the most unstable type and I'll get into that just now. I've just been using it in the mornings. I just put it in my hand to be honest. And then, guess what I'm gonna say? Tap, tap, tap. So just tap it in. Let me start off with, I have been seeing some slight um, improvements in terms of like dark spots and hyperpigmentation that I had. The reason why I decided to focus on the vitamin C instead of the BHAs and AHAs and retinol that I got, first I can't use them together. Secondly, because I was starting to see some complexion changes in my skin and mainly because I've been hanging out, I've been hanging out outside too much. Like, guys, winter sun is my favorite thing. I know I say stay out of the sun, but winter sun, when you're out there just busking, getting your life, it's like my favorite thing. So I've been doing that and it caught up to me, so I've stopped now. Stay out of the sun. Don't do it. 
I don't know who I thought I was, like chilling with the sun like that, like with friends, like the sun. The sun ain't never loved me. I noticed some complexion changes. I was like, let me focus on my vitamin C. Um, let me use this one that I got. Tap, tap, tap. And I have noticed some slight differences. I do want to keep using it a bit more and I will do a follow up video and see how it's gone. Maybe do a before and after if I can find a picture of before. I've been liking it because of the fact that I can see some improvements. However, I don't really like the consistency. It's, it feels oily-ish, but it's not oily. Remember I said in my previous video, it's not oily. It's just because it doesn't have water. It's not... Uh, it's a waterless product, so it feels oily, but it's actually not an oil. I just don't particularly like this consistency. I don't know. It just feels a bit thick. But anyway, it's not like a train smash. It's really not a train smash. It just feels like it's, it takes long to absorb. I think that's like my main problem, but it really... it's fine. It's fine. The other vitamin C products that I have used in the past would be the um, Kazar X Triple C Lightning Serum. It's finished now, so I can't really show you, but that was a more watery liquid. And then I also use um, this Neogen powder, um, vitamin C powder. Because it's a powder, just mix it with like a watery based skincare product and then tap it in. That is more stable. And I'm going to come back to the stable thing compared to a liquid format of, of vitamin C. So the stable thing that I keep referring to. As I mentioned, it has got 10% absorbic acid and 3% ferulic acid. The ferulic acid, you might not be familiar with that, but it is another type of antioxidant. I briefly touched on this in my previous video and it helps stabilize the absorbic acid. And when I say stabilize, I mean absorbic acid can quickly lose its effectiveness. So by coming into contact with air, with light and all that stuff, it quickly degrades and gets oxidized whereas the ferulic acid or other uh, or other antioxidants that are often mixed with vitamin c will help you know stabilize or help keep its shelf life a bit longer another way to keep the shelf life is make sure you keep your absorbic acid in like a dark place not in the sunlight preferably in the fridge actually i used to have one that was like quite strong so that one i had to keep in the fridge but i mean that's not always possible because like here the fridge is downstairs and every morning I'll forget to go downstairs to get that and you know it'll actually be a mess it will be a mess people be like what are you doing too many questions I need to move out next step so I've been keeping my routine quite short um, these days just because you know my skin's my skin's doing all right and I haven't been mixing in like like I said your um, exfoliators and retinol and all that stuff because it will I was getting a situation over here. So first I thought it might be the vitamin C, but I think it was actually just stress. So it's not, it's, we're good. It's not this. It was actually just me and I was trying to put it onto someone. Next step, I would like to put a hyaluronic acid. So that's just for hydration. Okay, so I've been using this one by Skur and a South African brand, which is hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So it's like too much vitamin C going on. So I'm just going to use, um, this Ren Flash Hydro Boost. Tap, tap, tap. Just you know, it's winter, so you really want to stay hydrated. With this one, you also have to add some water to the face, just like a few drops on your hands to activate it. Genius. And then I am going to put on a moisturizer. So recently, I've been using this Dr. Jart Ceramidin. I've been focusing on that one. It just helps to retain moisture. Just control those eyebrows, eh? Okay, so vitamin C, before I forget, vitamin C is going to help with your dark spots, like I mentioned, hyperpigmentation, things that are caused with aging, it's caused with being in the sun, it's caused with pollutants in the air, so it's also fighting off those free radicals, you know, it's just, hey, get out of my face. That's why I love vitamin C, it really just helps, you know, it gives a certain glow. So I did talk about it in my hyperpigmentation video, that video is doing really well, I will link it down below. And it just shows, it just gives you like this bright, even complexion. So a lot of people think that when we say brightening means lightening, that is not the case. It's actually just removing like the darkness that shouldn't be on your face, the darkness that's caused by the sun and stuff. So on my face, like, see like over here, things were starting to go left and like, cause I was literally just, I was doing the least. And I hope you guys will forgive me because I always say stay out of the sun, but I got seduced. And you see, the devil will seduce you. The sun is the devil. So don't do it. Don't get seduced, guys. But anyway. 
make sure the most important thing i always stress this was vitamin c also with your exfoliators and your retinol and stuff but we're talking about vitamin c today always make sure you're using your spf it's so super 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 important it's super 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 important i don't know why that got my tongue um but your skin does get more sensitive to the sun when you're using vitamin c so always make sure you're wearing your sunscreen and reapplying i actually keep um an SPF bottle in my car just to make sure you're reapplying because I don't want excuses of no but I'm not home I can't just be reapplying and all that stuff and guys I know it's winter here and I know we're indoors we're working from home we're not going anywhere but the UV rays will still get to you I cannot stress this enough I've told you once I've told you I've told you a million times so give me one good reason why you're still not using your sunscreen give me one good reason I'll wait and you still got no reason. And that has been my morning routine um, this past week, pretty much. Just keeping it simple, not doing too much. Like I mentioned, I did buy all these other products from Skin Functional that I've yet to, yet to try. We had the retinol amino hydroxy. I don't like. I still don't understand why I bought so many exfoliators. I got this amino hydroxy complex, which has got. Um, a bunch of AHAs got that glycolic acid and what? Lactic acid, I think. So I was doing too much. And then I got this blemish and pore spot therapy, which is 9% BHA, which is quite strong. Then I got another 2% BHA situation. So, and a retinol, which also just makes the skin sense. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I think maybe I just need to buy the other products so I can try them out properly. Maybe after two weeks of like diligent using this, um, vitamin C, I will go into the other products, maybe the alpha hydroxy complex and just see how that works out and get like a smooth skin. But anyway, I have been enjoying it so far, like I mentioned. Um, I think you guys will like it. Like I said, the only thing that I'm not too happy about is the consistency, but it's not like a big problem. So yeah, I'll give you guys another update in a week and then we can actually properly compare we can see it like these dark situations over here if they're gone hope you guys enjoyed this video here's some other videos for you guys to watch happy pigmentation other videos i went so blank right now um yeah thank you guys so much for the support please make sure that the thumbs up button subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any videos okay cheers guys <laughs>